How Egyptian Pyramids Were Built The Egyptian pyramids were monumental structures built by the ancient Egyptians for the pharaohs and their consorts. The construction of the pyramids was a massive undertaking that required a great deal of planning, organization, and labor. The construction of a pyramid started with the pharaoh's decision to build one. The pharaoh would choose a site and appoint an architect and a team of skilled builders to oversee the project. The architects would survey the site and draw up plans for the pyramid. The builders would quarry the stone that would be used for the pyramid. The most common stone used was limestone, which was abundant in the area. The stone was transported to the building site using sledges, rollers, and boats. The builders would lay the foundation for the pyramid. This was usually made of large stones that were leveled and smooth to form a solid base for the pyramid. The builders would then begin to construct the core of the pyramid. This was made of large blocks of limestone that were carefully cut and placed on top of each other. The blocks were secured using mortar made from gypsum and water. Once the core was completed, the builders would add a layer of casing stones to the outside of the pyramid. These were usually made of polished limestone and gave the pyramid its smooth, white appearance. Inside the pyramid, the builders would construct a series of chambers and corridors. These were designed to hold the pharaoh's body and his treasures. Once the pyramid was completed, the builders would add the finishing touches, such as a capstone or pyramidium. The pyramid was then ready to be used as the pharaoh's tomb. The construction of a pyramid could take many years and involved the labor of thousands of workers. It was a testament to the engineering and organizational skills of the ancient Egyptians, and the pyramids remain one of the most impressive and enduring monuments of human civilization.